Good morning. Um, so I have a very good memory, and I was I remember being here less than a year ago after um, Ocaño died at the hands of LAPD, um, and I remember opening up, and you talked about the hostage situation in North Hollywood, uh, where your officers uh, were able to squash that without any um, any death and any um, any officer shooting. So it's interesting that you opened it up today with what happened in Skid Row, and then um, how. You know, somebody shot at officers and no officer shot back at him. So I'm wondering if that's the unique training um, that officers are receiving at Central Division. Because um, it's very different than what's going on in, in the rest of the city. Um, and I also remember being here a little over a year ago when we were talking about the body cams and you were talking about your pilot program and putting them um, and installing them on officers here in Skid Row. So here we are less than a year later that your pilot program has taken off. And, um, and an incident has happened where two officers have, um, have gun, um, cams on them. And so we're here today. I think that since we do pay for those cameras and we do pay for your salaries and, and the money that you, know, you make, um, we deserve to see that footage and we deserve to know who those officers are. Um, I believe Chief Beck, yesterday in your press conference, you said he was a young officer. Um, I myself have come in contact with a new sort of young looking officer myself um, who was harassing my friend um, and threatening to arrest him for not taking down his tent. Um, and I just want to remind you it's winter time, so it's we're between rain. So your officer was threatening to arrest him for not taking down his tent. And if it's the same officer, um, I think that it just goes to show the kind of, the, that again, the same training that your officers are receiving where as soon as he gets out onto the streets to patrol, he murders somebody. Um, and we deserve to know who the officers involved were. Um, I have friends who live in this community. I'm from this community as well, and we deserve to know who those officers are. And the Safer Cities Initiative. There's no reason why all those officers have to respond to that one call, and that's what happens. Thank you.